Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Today we're going to be going over the top monsters by looking at the player versus player Cosmic Tournament 13 usage data. This is for the mid season. Once again, a huge shout out to Monster Legends competitive wiki. I will post a link in the description to the blog article if you want to follow along. With that being said, this time I'm doing something a little different that I haven't done in the past. So for those of you that didn't see the past episode or want to compare what's changed, I'm going to start doing these videos by looking at the previous data so right here I have the PvP cosmic tournament 12 usage data and let's start off by looking at the heavies these were the most used monsters Shelly on the first spot with 74 total uses followed by Fampirastro notice that Shelly's used more on offense and on defense than even like Fampirastro actually Fampirastro used 50 on defense which still surprises me we have Bombay we have Lindworm and then if we scroll down, some of the toughies, we have Tabora, we have Hardy, we have Cryo Crawler here. Let me get rid of this ad over here. Um, yeah, so this is in the monsters. My prediction was that Cryo Crawler was going to move up to probably in the heavies. If he's not on the heavies in this season 13, he'll be in he'll be on it, I guarantee you, by the end of the next season, or by the end of Cosmic Tournament 13. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. Um, Platypus was an interesting one, so I think he'll probably stay in the top used. I don't think he'll ever transition up to being a heavy, but I think he'll stay as a toughie just because his trait is so dominant. I'm trying to see. Oh, um, Super Fox is another monster I predict. Right now, she's at 10. I predict she's going to increase. Um, will she reach the toughie category? 20? I think that's a possibility. Maybe not during midseason, but she might like be over here, like maybe replacing Kodama. She might be in like the high teens instead of 10. That's what I'm anticipating. So let's let's see. So um, these are the heavies once again for the last season. Um, I predict the order will be the same. It's still it'll be Shelly, it'll be Fampirastro, it'll be Bombeta, Lindworm, and then I think it'll be Cryo Crawler in the fifth spot. So I think Tabora is losing a spot, or yeah, because I, I don't I don't anticipate Cryo Crawler moving into the heavy right away. I think. Maybe by the end of Tournament 13, Lindworm will even get replaced. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So without further ado, let's take a look at Cosmic Tournament 13. And let us scroll down. So the first heavy is actually Fompidastral. And looks like they switched spots because I can already see Shelly's name on the bottom. So if I look up here, we have Shelly at 74 total usages. And now we have... Here, I might as well scroll down. Oh, I saw Lindworm too. All right. Let's just scroll down. All right. Okay. So top four, they are the same. They just changed the order. So Fompidastral is currently number one. So she's used a little more on offense and a little less, just one less on defense. Um, Shelly went to 39 and 33, so defense stayed the same and offense just changed a little bit. Linworm got more usage by two. Oh, right here they were tied. They were 57, 57. So Linworm is at 59. And look, Bombeta lost a lot of usage. Attack was 27. Attack was 35. Defense is 30. Defense dropped to 14. This can only mean one thing. More people were using Crow Crawler. That has to be my guess. A lot more people were using Crow Crawler. So, um, let's go down and let's see. That's oh, look who is there. Yeah. So now we have Crow Crawler being used 30 times on defense compared to where he was 27. Oh, so that only changed by like three. So he only got a little increase, but yeah, something definitely took away from Bomb Beta's usage. Oh, let me scroll back. So wow, that's uh, that's crazy. So yeah, Tabora is displaced oh tabora lost two spots tabora um hardy even beat tabora so now T um hardy's at 32 and i guess with the increase of like maybe you're doing double megaton into the patient hardy um yeah he's down to 32 though and um, tabora's all the way down to 28 and mostly on defense 19 whereas where he was at 19 for offense so less and less players are using tabora let's scroll down we have chuckle muckle whoa chuckle was down here in the mids so chuckle got a huge increase so 6th attack, defense 12, defense 16. Vanos is still... Oh, Vanos also jumped up, so now he's at 22. Because this was previously in the mids, and currently we are reviewing the toughies. So that's very interesting to see. Let's scroll down. We have Lord Platypus. Lord Platypus actually went down a little bit from 21 to 16. We have Thalassa. We have Kodama. Kodama's down to 15. Uh, Thalassa's 16. I think Thalassa got an increase, yeah. So still that turn transferring. We have Ignis. We have Daedalus. Wow, looks like I'm wrong about Super Fox. Super Fox is 9 on offense. Hmm, that's so strange to me. I really I really do think that Vanos will eventually get displaced by Super Fox. So maybe by the end of Season 13. And then we'll just look at some of the other monsters. We have Rotten. We have Rasulka. We have... Yeah, how does Rasulka have so much usage? I think it's just because she's old. Because she's not... 
she's not that great. She's of all the Pierce monsters, she's unique. She can actually remove positive effects. So I can definitely see from an offensive point of view, you maybe target a monster like you can target a Vanos and remove his Pierce, and that eliminates a huge threat. But I think this monster has just she's she's so much better. So I do anticipate her. Um, being used a lot more. All right, let's see. We have Arobot. We have Gracon. Gracon stays the same, but now he's even being used on off on defense a little bit. We have Wormlad. I don't think we saw Wormlad last season, did we? So three on offense, four on defense, and let me scroll down. Wormlad, yeah, Wormlad was down to two. Keep in mind, the mid season is way different from the end season because during the mid season, um, players are experimenting a lot more. Oh, that reminds me. Let me scroll up. Um, so they started keeping track of, um, of. Players actually spend money money versus free to play. So the ratio of players with pay to play monsters as opposed to none was this was 92 to 8. And scrolling back up, I think it was roughly the same, maybe 93. 91 to 9. Okay, so that's around the same. But one thing to keep in mind is that we can never really know what their true ratio is because monsters like the Dew and Hacksmith, they're technically golden pass monsters, but they're also breedable if you get lucky. So uh, there's no way to ever know. Interesting thing I wanted to note, there is a good amount of high um, around top 15 and up players using Rasulka and Ignis teams. I wonder what caused the rise of that strat. Ooh, I have a guess. Once again, just looking at the current data right now, considering now that we have Megatons, 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 I imagine players are using double Megaton Vanoss base because Vanoss got an increase in usage, right? He's up to 22. So here is my speculation. Whereas Vanoss was previously, well, it's not that much. He's mostly being used on offense. So my my guess was initially, maybe maybe even with Hardy, maybe because he has stamina regen at the start, or maybe because the monsters have like status casters. So let's see, Lord Platypus. Because what I'm thinking is, Ignis can deal with one Megaton base, right? So get rid of positive effects. And then with Rasulka, she her pure skill can remove a positive effect. So I'm, I'm thinking that takes care of like the Vanoss Pierce or the Lord Platypus. Um, into the patient or whoever you need to so that would be my guess where Rizulka is being used specifically to take down the enemy um, status caster because if you have Megaton Megaton Vanos the minute you eliminate Pierce from Vanos he's not that big of a threat he's a threat when he can OTK your team or like your weakest squishiest monster but if you can make it so your Shelly or your um your crowd your crowd crawler absorbs Vanos's attack or he does a self skill that's awesome so that'd be my guess just looking quickly at this but um let's continue with the video i think i was talking about how Wormlad interestingly enough got more usage this time around but it's just the mid season we have Masher holding on there armor claw still holding on what was he last time he was four total now he's currently at six that's always cool to see we have a few kids. we have solar flare we have robo elf being used we have noah witch cat henrich santirion still being used we got some players using roost wayne actually i don't predict he'll actually be used that much in the meta and we have ragnarok we have steam Rider. there has to be players using ferris there's that ferris and we have roddy we have the dew okay this is the monster i 100 percent think he is going to shoot up he has to shoot up. He's a better Sabora. So I think by the end of Season 13, we are going to see this monster. We're definitely going to see him in the mids. And we might even see him as the toughies. And I have to wonder if we might even see him in the heavy. Because he is a really good answer for the Megaton. And then being able to trade disable. Um, double Megaton, he definitely runs some issues with. And then Anticipation, maybe, maybe not. Because if you have Shelly, Shelly can absorb the enemy like Hardy attacking you. So you'll be fine. So... Here's a monster I definitely predict is going to be increasing a lot. Uh, we have a top monster. We have Daigo. We have um, just some random monsters. We have Undead Mr. Beast, Lightmare, maybe to kill Shelly's. I don't know. Undana, Blackfeather, Zorki, Nor, Siamis, Cawthor, Madam Fusion, Hornet, Elvira, Rusioku, Teddy VR. I think some monsters are just randomly in here. Heist. Like, who really uses Mr. Beast? Heist, Nightingale, Lonrad. I can see Lonrad, Kai, and Cybrel. All right, very, very cool. I think the only other monster that surprised me, where was he? I think it was Roboop. I don't think he had any usage whatsoever. I would have to guess he's a really good monster to kill Megatons, right? He's a pretty good attacker. Does he have the artifact? I think he might have artifact. But uh, more importantly, the fact that he started to game off with three status casters against the enemy Megatons, right? And then, like, if, if, even if you don't OTK a Shelly, the fact that you start off with three status casters, potentially against a Shelly, you do a strong AoE skill, Shelly then dies with the dots and skips her turn when she resurrects, that's awesome. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys thought about this whole information, the Cosmic Tournament 13 mid-season data. I love it. So, once again, huge shout-out to Monster Legends Competitive Wiki. There will be a link in the description if you want to follow along. Thank you guys so much, and remember to subscribe.